Hello, this is Dr. Jones. Today we're going to take a look at the ProQuest database uh, there on the Campbellsville uh, Library website. So if you go to the uh, library guides to the databases, the A to Z databases, you scroll down to the P area and you will see here ProQuest. You'll also see the ProQuest dissertation and thesis global, but that's uh, another video. So we're going to click on the ProQuest itself, and that brings up this screen here. Well, actually, it'll bring up the basic screen, but we'll switch to the advanced screen. Now I've preloaded that I want wanting to go with that. I preloaded um, that I want these three search terms here uh, to look for ethic, ethics, ethical in uh, the uh, articles, leadership, and restaurant or restaurants, um, and that I want full text and peer reviewed. So what I'm looking for is um, academic articles, and that will take us hopefully out of almost all of the uh, just general restaurant type articles out there where they might you know cover some of these topics on ethics and leadership um, but they would not be academic peer-reviewed journal articles and that's what I want you to look for now I'm leaving us with all dates at the moment we will limit that and we may have some other limitations in there a little bit later so we'll go ahead and search for this and you'll notice I have almost 5,000 results. And I'll go like, wow, that's a lot. And it is a lot. Okay, so let's say, well, uh, we can have uh, a limitation in here maybe. Maybe there's lots in the magazines, trade journals, other sources, because conference papers and proceedings uh, might be fine, and scholarly journals would definitely be fine. So if you click on more, it allows you to limit and you know choose which ones to include but you will notice that of those almost 5,000 results that we only lose a few of those by clicking on just scholarly journals so that's not going to really help us out uh, so let's go to dates and we'll do custom date range and I have preloaded into here uh, January 1st of 2016 so that gets us say within five years there with 2021 and apply that out and that still takes us down to 2200 results so let's take a look here at you know we're looking at ethics or you know ethical plus leadership and restaurants and those should be terms in these and it it's hard for me to understand that there would be that many peer-reviewed journal articles out there uh, with these three terms in them. So what, what might be happening here? So let's take a look. We'll just click on this one right here. And I downloaded uh, this article actually and I'm going to tell you, I've already done a search into it uh, in preparing for this video. And I'll show you where restaurant actually shows up. It's going to be hard to see. But it shows up down in here uh, in one of the references. It happens to be a journal that includes the word restaurant. So it's not about the restaurant industry. And in fact, if you read the... Uh, which you can't see it, but if you read the abstract, it talks about media sources. So here's the problem we're having, that the word restaurant's showing up in lots of different places, but it's not necessarily going to be about ethics and leadership in restaurants. And again, I'm just using this as an example, but it's, I think, a good example to show that just because something has certain words in it doesn't mean that that's what the article's about. And so if you're looking for something in your dissertation or for a paper that you're writing, you want to be sure that the article in the study is definitely about uh, 
the, the topic that you're looking for. So here's a different way to do this. Let's go back and we're going to go back to the advanced search and I still have all this in here. Now I'm going to change this just a little bit because what I'm going to do is put this as all subjects in indexing. So it doesn't have to be the main subject or any of these others. We're going to change the restaurants so that it's about the restaurant industry. And I'm going to leave it with the star on there so that it could be restaurant or restaurants. But any subject heading then uh, within the details of the article will be about restaurants. And let's see what happens here. So we click that. And now I'm down to 366 results. And this seems to be a lot smarter. Okay. This seems to be like a better set of results. Immediately I'm down to, you know, one sixth, one seventh of what I had before. And I'm still looking at uh, applying this within the last five years. And that now takes me down to 93 results. So looking for something with ethics in it and leadership with the subject of restaurants in the last five years, I now have less than a hundred results that I'm looking for. And I'm much more likely to get something that actually is about my industry. This, this makes a lot of sense right here. So now I would need to go through here and start looking at things that look like they are peer reviewed journal articles. This is easier to comb through. So anything that's like journal of business and entrepreneurship, I know this journal, it's definitely a peer reviewed journal. Sustainability, I have actually reviewed for uh, sustainability. It's a peer reviewed journal uh, out there. Strategic HR review sounds like that. So you can start looking for things. International Journal of Contemporary Hospitality Management. That sounds perfect, okay? Because you're looking for the hospitality industry. Now, I must say this, I'm gonna click on this one. You do have to be careful because you'll notice that uh, restaurants do show up, but the hospitality industry overall includes hotels as well. And so if I'm looking for something specific about restaurants, looking at studies about hotels does not help me uh, but it does show up as restaurants in there leadership is also a subject term here so i think and notice the industry is restaurants and other eating places i think this is a safe one so if we go back to that then you can actually take a look at the full text of uh, this article here and start reading through it and see you know what it's doing and if you go down to the methodology they're doing a Delphi study you can read up on that if you want to do that but essentially what it is it's a a way to get group consensus about something so let's say you're trying to come up with an instrument or a um, an idea about what a certain kind of topic might mean you have some people who are not actually near each other necessarily and you will ask each of them uh, for their input and then you will have them process that input and keep doing that until they come up with essentially a consensus about whatever it is. So as it says, they collect data for a small group of experts exchanging their ideas and knowledge anonymously and without any peer pressure out there. And that's what this one would do. So, you know, that would be interesting. And they're doing it. I don't, I'm not going to read through this article, but it looks like they're doing it about whatever the main topic is. So that is one way to take a look in ProQuest. Obviously, you could click on full text PDF and then you could simply click on download, download the article if you found it to be useful and then keep it in your files uh, somewhere uh, for you to be able to go back and, and reference at a later time. That is the ProQuest database and you will note that it has 
some similar uh, journals as you might have found in a, a business source complete or in the ABI inform but it will actually access a lot of journals uh, like um, the ones that I was talking to you about sustainability and, and some of these here that are not really referenced in those other databases. Uh, they're smaller journals or they're journals that are more popular over in Europe and therefore you might be able to find some fresh information. Okay, enjoy. Take care.